What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hello, good hearts and God sense. My name is Simon Goodheart VA, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. We make videos here in Canva Play to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here as we upload new videos all the time. All right then. Let me start our today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a turn day into night effect in Canva. Are you a nictophile or photophile? Never been heard those words? Well, let's add a little to our vocabulary. A photophile is a person who loves light, while nictophile refers to the person who loves darkness and nights. These people find relaxation or comfort in darkness or in light. What if you are a nictophile and you have a beautiful photo, but it was taken in a very broad daylight? Since you love darkness, you want to change the aura of your photo into night. How and what will you do to make your photos turn day into night? I have a solution for you. You come in the right place. Here in Canva Play, I will show you how to do it. Of course, by using the amazing Canva application. Let's make this tutorial exciting because I know you are very excited to learn this. Let's get into Canva and I will show you how to turn day into night effect. But before that, here are the designs that I will create. I will make two examples on this to show you the two options that you can use in doing the effect. I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create the first example of the design. To start, a subject photo can be taken from photos or uploads. I will get mine from photos by typing in the keyword person riding a boat in Emerald Lake. Obviously, the first one, the settings of this photo is in daylight with the keyword person riding a boat in Emerald Lake. The settings of this photo is in daylight with the bright sky in the middle of the blue-green lake. I will set the image as my background. This kind of effect is very easy. You just need a filter code to achieve the effect, which is to turn the day in tonight let's now do the magic using the photo go to edit image go to adjust see all and i will show you the settings to make the night filter code now adjust the brightness to negative 65 contrast negative 25 saturation negative 45 blur negative 5, Vignette, 100, Warmth, negative 100, Clarity, 3. Scroll down, Highlights, negative 100, Shadows, negative 100. Look down and you will see the code for the settings. This is called the filter code. And take a look what happened to the image. The filter code makes the bright day photo turn to a dark night photo. Transforming the image look or mode is very important in doing a design. For example, if you want to make your photo look vibrant and lovely, you should apply a filter code to make it as one. 
if you want to create a moody and dark mode. You can also do it by using a filter code to make it as one. If you want to make your photo set up in a different kind of modes, we created Canva Gum, an ebook of Canva preset filter codes, and with an addition of special customized frames inside to make your designs visually appealing to achieve the vibe it deserves. With Canva Gum, you don't have to worry about any tools to your filter your images aesthetically because Canva Gum can help you with that. It has 10 filter codes to choose from. Take note that this night filter code is not included. The effect is already done. What I will do next is to add a little spice to the design to make it more realistic and beautiful to look at. I think I need to add something in this photo like a moon hiding in a dark cloud. Of course, this is optional if you want to retain your photo as is without any additions or add-ons in it, it's perfectly fine. I am doing this add-ons to show you what other things you can create and do to your designs to make it more realistic. So then, let's go to Photos, type in the keyword Moon, and here they are, so many images of moons to choose from. I will pick this quarter look like Moon here, with the keyword Moon, like I say, I want to put or insert a moon hiding in the dark sky, so this kind of moon is perfect for my idea. I'll show you first the keyword moon. I will drag it in the design. And I will resize it. I will make it smaller. And I'll tilt it a little in this top left corner of the image. Like this. And... I'll adjust it here and it's done. Take a look at the daylight photo turned into night. I will show another kind of night settings in this second example of the design. Let's add another page. I will get another subject photo from photos. This time, I will choose an image with a keyword. Let's type in here, Aerial Photo of City Buildings. Like I did on the first example, I will choose the first image with a keyword, Aerial Photo of City Buildings. I will select it. And I will set this image as my background. And again, I will use the same filter code to change it to a night look. I will go to the image where I applied the filter code a while ago. Click the image. Go to edit image. See adjust. See all. Go down below to see the filter code. And here it is. I will... Copy this and I'll use this to the image of the city buildings below. So clicking the picture here and I'm now in the edit image, adjust, see all, go down and here, paste it here, the filter code portion. And the magic happens. What makes this second example different from the first one? Here's now the difference. If you notice, the image is a little bit too light dark. You can make the mode darker by changing a little adjustments on the filter code. Using the same image, here in the adjust settings, you can see that I have already applied the filter code. Now, I will change or adjust the following. And take note again that... We will again make this night filter code mode darker by first changing the brightness from negative 65, change it to negative 100. Then contrast from negative 25, change it to positive 25. And the dark night became darker. I will zoom it. To show you that it is still visible to look at.
As my final touch, like what I did in the first example, I will add elements to this design. As I said, I am doing these add-ons to show you what other things you can create or do to your designs to make it more realistic. But retaining your photo without add-ons is also perfectly fine. So then, go to Elements and search for the keyword Star Galaxy Overlay. Go to Graphics and I want to add stars on this wide sky. I will duplicate um, one of the elements here will, um, that I will choose and I chose this one which has the keyword Star Galaxy Overlay. Now, I will duplicate this star and scatter it all over the sky like this. Watch me do it. I want to add another elements aside from the stars. Go again to elements. And search for this time the keyword fallen star. Go to graphics. And here it is, the first one, a comet falling from the sky. I will drag it inside the design and position it in the middle of the sky. I'll, re I'll just resize it. And I'll place it in here. Done! Take a look at the daylight photo which I turned into a bright with falling star night sky. Now, this is the final look of the two designs that I created using the day turn into night sky in Canva. But before that, I'll add first two blank pages in which I will take again the original photos I used to showcase the difference. Let me just get it here in the recently used. Set it as my background. I'll do it again on the next sample now let's take a look at the designs i created example number one they turn into night example number two day turned into night that's it for more design inspirations watch this
If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, Goodheart VA saying, sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky Gods and VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Pinky with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.